last week, uh, we had an epic battle between Wings 007 and Wings Redemption, and 007 got annihilated. He got destroyed, and it should have been the easiest win ever for 007. He had all those old clips that made Wings look creepy and horrible, but he went way too far, and he was trying to convince the audience that Wings was, in fact, a p and a predator with absolutely no evidence, and then he's joking around, so obviously it wasn't even serious in the first place so he got destroyed and just to go show you how destroyed he actually got you see these comments they're all positive this 007 dude doesn't give a damn about protecting kids he plainly just has an obsession 007 would rather stalk a 400 man <laughs> 400 pound man on the internet and spend time with his young child. Let that sink in. Good job, Wings. You defeated 007. 007 is pathetic. I didn't mess with any of these comments, by the way. These are the actual uh, top comments on the video. I mean, you guys just bodied this dude in our comment section. I, I haven't been able to find a single comment in support of 007. Some people in our comment section brought up the point that they think that Wings 007, the Wings of Redemption stalker, the troll, da 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 maybe he was project, uh, projecting, right? Maybe he himself is obsessed with kids. Now, I thought that was a reach. I thought, yeah, come on, that, that can't be any of that, right? How, you know, if this guy was really guilty of this stuff, someone would know something about it. I was scrolling on our Reddit over at Lolcal Live, and you have to follow our Reddit over at Lolcal Live, Live, and you wouldn't believe this claim that popped up. Look at this. Look at this. Apparently, 007 has a moderator on his server on his discord server that said something along the lines here according to this allegation yes i want to f my sister so bad she's only seven what the f what is going on is this true is this really 007's moderator in his discord who's talking about effing children this is up. So I just want to share that with you. I thought it was absolutely hilarious that 007 came with all the trump cards. You know, he could have been like, Wings is creepy. Wings did this. Wings did that. Wings is lying, right? But he went way too hard and uh, outed himself as a stalker. And others, everyone seems to be going after 007. People are exposing him left and right. I'm seeing through our through our Reddit. And just on Twitter, it was a big W for Wings, and Wings never should have won. <laughs> he never should have won. He was starting with, like, way behind in, in negative territory. So big on the show today. We have the return of only Use Me Blade. So that's going to be huge. Also, uh, I just was stumbling on Twitter last night, and I come across this person known as Grace Torp. Do you guys know who Grace Trope or Grace Torp? I have no idea who this person is, right? And so I start going down a rabbit hole. I watched like a little bit of a documentary. Apparently her fa family's like, like really wild people. And I happened to see that she was live. And so I hit up her while she was live and she obviously knew who I was and was freaking out that I was there. And I was like, hey, you want to come on Lol Cow Live? She's like, I don't know what that is. I gave her a call earlier today and I said, hey, look, this is Lol Cow Live. You know, explain wings and boogie. Um, and she goes, ah, I'm coming on the show. I'm, I'm going to be there. So we got crazy girl Grace. She going to be here. All right, now would be a good time to call the boys. Let's see what the boys got for us, ladies and gentlemen. Let's see what the boys got for us. What is up, Mr. Wings of Redemption? I'm not sure if Boogie's going to be here. Why? What happened? He's got to go to Ohio, because that's why we did the show early. If he's not going to come, that's fine, because we're going to have uh, maybe too many people on here anyways. Uh, let me ask you this question. The whole debate with you and 007 last week, what are the after debate thoughts on that whole situation? I think we're kind of skipping over the fact that he openly admitted that he pretends to be 15-year-old girls to, like, other lol cows, right? Because I don't know if you noticed, but, like, he was asking Cyrex for, like, pics and like that to try to like manufacture drama or like get him in trouble and we're also ignoring the fact that on his little subreddit that here's claims that he shells lolly that lolly stuff like bosh likes he shared that with underage people as well he claims to be an outstanding citizen and an upright father giving his child five hundred dollars a month 
right? You know, the, the mercy knows no bounds on this man. But at the same time, it's like the dude's sick. Like, like the, anybody that puts that much energy and, and, and thought process into like a 400 pound fat man that's a washed up YouTuber, you know he's not having a good, healthy life. Tommy, did you see this debate with 007 versus Wings? Yes, I did. I, I, I'm, I'm generally shocked. We probably would have talked about it more in the cast. Um, but we have a huge DS coming up on Sunday, and uh, I, I'm very, I'm very happy for Wings. Uh, he got a W, which probably means he'll have a an L within a, within a week or two. So, <laughs> for now, enjoy it. It's Every like, day I wake up to nail Tommy. What the hell are you talking about, <laughs> dude? Wait. Oh, Tommy, your beard. You look like a homeless bum today <laughs> yeah it's great being a youtuber <laughs> the, uh, the funniest thing about that is wings of redemption had no business winning that <laughs> like, <laughs> i know he did <laughs> he shouldn't have won at all yeah. yeah i called nicky oreo and i was like should i quit now or <laughs> but then he turned it around thanks wings yeah you know, and it backed up everything wings has been saying he kept saying like dude the people that are after me are way bigger losers than me <laughs> You know, it's funny with Josh Moon, but when you, when you get Josh Moon to come and he's going to cut a podcast on me and he goes to talk to my trolls and then he just cuts the podcast on the trolls, right? Like yeah. it's just sick people. I wonder if Blade's going to be doing better now that Wings 007 has been missing in action for a week. Wait, did he leave the internet? Did 007 leave the internet? He hasn't made it. He hasn't made a peep since the show. <laughs> oh post, my not God! a video, nothing. The, like it really was a full blowout. The kid got blown yeah. out. Holy sh! But like Wing, like he, Wings 007, he was really pushing most of his attention toward Blade. Like he got him kicked out of hotels, and so he was really Blade for a long time. And like, oh my hello. God, ladies and gentlemen, only use me Blade in 4K. Blade, uh, there was a big debate last week between uh, huh? Wings of Redemption and Wings 007, the guy that's been harassing you. Yeah, and Wings won. I, I saw that. I, I watched the podcast. So I'm, I'm up to date. Oh, nice, nice. The kid that's been harassing you has left the internet, according to Wings. That's what Wings just told me. I mean, that's that. That'd be great. That's awesome. You should go take care of his kid. So yeah. He, ooh, he could be gearing up for an attack, though. Maybe. Yeah. yeah. Uh, you can't take care yeah, of kids. We sure, we sure we're are giving him a lot of sexy. attention. We're giving him a lot of attention, though. Just saying, but I think Wings handled himself great the last podcast. So against it doesn't matter. It, it doesn't matter if you give him attention or not, Blade, because what's going to end up happening, unless I'm streaming or doing something or you're streaming, he has no content to, to benefit of, off it anyway, because he can't right. make his own. Right. Two, two weeks ago, you told us that for the last couple of weeks at that time, you've been not drinking, you've been fixing up your life, all that. This is like yep. a month now, right? Yeah, but, uh, I think over a month now, yeah. Not keeping track, but yeah. So How crappy is your content got since you did that? Horrible, dude. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you gotta be dude. you gotta be sober to f see it right <laughs> yeah exactly yeah, right. <laughs> ladies and gentlemen round of applause blade has not said the n-word in over a month Woo! i don't know about that <laughs> wait, you, this morning. wait what? yeah you had to you had, you had to go in the closet and practice you can't, can't get out of form <laughs> all right no i don't really be saying that when i'm sober so yeah it's 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 been it's been a while yeah that's crazy i don't know why i say that when i'm drunk dude i don't get it but whatever but we're good now. Like, do you get beat up by a black kid in high school or something? No, like some of my one of my best friends was black, so I don't get it. Actually, I watched a clip. Uh, I was watching old clips of mine on my stream the other day, and uh, at one point he he says to me, he says, "Did you say and like you know the n word?" And I go, mm. "I didn't say n word." And then he hits me, and I'm like, "Why'd you f hit me, dude?" He's like, "Cause you just said it." I'm like, "I just said I didn't say it." Like, what the. F so ah. even like saying it in passing, it's like, come on, dude. So yeah. ask, yeah. ask you a question, Blade. I, like sure. I've only been slightly tipsy one time in my life. I've never okay. been full on blackout drunk. So okay. like, do you ever, when you're in that situation, like see yourself doing things and you don't, you're not behind the wheel and you're like, oh no. no. When you're blacked out, you're not conscious. You're not there to like you wings. You could literally tell me your, your pin code when I'm blacked out drunk and I wouldn't remember it the next day. Like it's. A Did blackout's you, a blackout. So like when they came in with like the like the riot shield in your hotel, you didn't remember talking to the cops. I didn't all. know about that. I didn't know about that until I saw the club. Do you right? I'm gonna add another person to the call. Uh her name is Grace. Do you guys know Grace? I sure I do, do not. I mean when you when you said she was gonna be on the call, I'm like, who is this person? I just found out about her yesterday. And, you know, she I seen some pretty uh viral popping tweets. 
<laughs> and video clips. Grace, cool. hi, how are you? Hi, I'm good. How are you doing? So oh, you uh, in a hotel over there? Sorry? Said so you're in a hotel or something back there? What are, where are you going? Oh yeah, I'm in uh I'm in um San Marcos, Texas right now. I'm tra I've been traveling and live streaming it, so Blade has some experience with that. You're doing like R V streams? All, all around yeah. the country, yeah. So Grace how do people know? I just found out about you yesterday, but like, what would you say you're known for on the internet? Like, how do people know you? Hmm. Incest. <laughs> <laughs> to put it bluntly, I mean, I have a lot of, I have a lot what, more what, 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 what to me of than that whole thing. Did but. you say incest? No, she, she said something else. <laughs> I'd say generally that is what is associated with my name. So you're involved in it? Isn't that a gag? Aren't you like the new Andy Kaufman or or is it true? <laughs> I can explain it if you want. Basically, I'd love I, to hear it. I started streaming with my dad about 14 months ago and we had um we had like a little chill podcast where we just talked about like religion and stuff. Anyways, uh, me and my dad are kind of edgy. Awesome. And uh, our family was kind of falling apart at the time. So that kind of leaked in and people started saying like, oh, you guys do incest. Was it because your mo your dad was cheating on your mom with you? No, but in a way, like me and him became closer and my mom got jealous of that. So she started like making uh, assumptions. Oh, okay. That and bitch. then my Is this your brother... dad right here? Yeah, that's him. Say hi. <laughs> hey. Handsome He's guy. Eight, so don't say anything you wouldn't say. Don't say anything you wouldn't say to his face. He's a handsome guy. Thank you. <laughs> well, how do you think I got here? <laughs> uh, no, but, I don't want to know. No, but continue. Why? Why do people think that um, you're your dad? You know, because we have a very close relationship. Because my mother is a very dysfunctional person, and so our family kind of fell apart, and we streamed a lot of that. And then people made assumptions, and I get it. You know, a lot of people don't see daughters that close to their fathers, and I don't really care if people make assumptions. But it's kind of an ongoing joke at this point. God. That's a king size Sorry. bed behind you. Is the, do y'all have separate mm. hotel rooms? No, it's cheaper sometimes to share a bed. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I seen a clip that I seen a clip that you were like caught your father. Is that true? My brother, um, because he was jealous of me getting clout online, he did decide to come out to get his own clout. And he said he saw something like I sent my dad an eggplant emoji, which I very well may have because I joke about sexual stuff with my dad all the time. And he got a little bit of clout off of that. And now it's a joke. So now okay, let's say your dad died. What's your content? Mm. Um, that is a very good point, actually. I am very, very closely tied to him, and he's sort of my rock. So if he did die, uh, probably Drinking. my content would be me. Me crying about him being dead, honestly. Uh, I love I mean, him very I, much. I, I'm, not, I'm not trying to make fun. What, what is your content? What is your, what is your thing? You, you stream? You make videos? What do you, what do, you do? Uh, it's kind of all over the place. So, like, he's sort of the intellectual side of things. I'm like, obviously you guys put me as the crazy girl, but we've been streaming ourselves, traveling and collabing with other people. Um, we also just, when we do IRL, we kind of like notice just the little things in life and like people watch and that kind of stuff. That's kind of how we like to run our streams. And then also a lot of analysis of like our family's past because it kind of became public and all of our, the characters involved. Do you in see family. like a father daughter in public and be like i wonder if they want to swing with us mm, no i no. am trying to get my dad laid uh he hasn't been laid in like five six years maybe you guys could help he's not doing so well on tinder so i seen this thing where um you one of your fair. girlfriends that you met online yeah. came to visit you yeah your dad started like pulling her hair to insert dominance over her because she's a young female and i've seen these clips of yeah. Him like uh, making you undress and get naked to like you know silly humiliate you or something. What what is the truth in all this? Well, the Ava thing. Um, so I met this girl in Seattle, and she had come to know us through Destiny. I'm sure you guys know who Destiny is. Yeah, alpha yes. male, mm -hmm. excellent debater, great social skills, handsome. Destiny's guy. an alpha male. Um, no, you are, Wings. <laughs> well, I, 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 I'm. I would say I could beat Destiny's. Who do you think's more attractive, Destiny or Wings of Redemption, the bald guy down here? Well, I don't know Wings, so so far Wings because seems to be able to take a joke. Ooh, Destiny's, <laughs> Destiny's Destiny's pretty pathetic. You'd have to say Destiny's. Yeah. Pathetic. But anyway, yeah, so the this thing girl I know Ava, about Destiny is he gets cooked. 
Oh, he does get cucked. Yeah, that's his thing. Yeah, that's why I was finding it funny. Like she called him an alpha male. I'm like, doesn't didn't he like be streaming and his wife's getting railed behind him on stream? <laughs> I think she was saying that sarcastically. It's a lot of context, but I went to LA. I live in Rhode Island. I went to LA maybe I think it was last summer to do an IRL collab with this guy Darius. We were supposed to pretend to be an abusive couple, but he actually caught feelings. Obviously, I seduce men all the time so he caught feelings i had to run away from him i went to seattle to go see this guy jeremy who follows me and my dad's streams that guy uh lived in a shed and he asked me if he could hop into bed with me so i was feeling kind of like i gotta get out of here as well so this girl ava who followed me on instagram she reached out to me and she's like i'm in seattle do you want to hang out and i was like actually can you rescue me from this guy jeremy's place because i don't have anywhere to go i don't have a plane ticket out of here can I meet, can can you just take me to your place and I crash at your place? She did, uh, and, and it, it was fine, and then I went back to Rhode Island. Then um, she decided to come over for a kind of show idea, a stream idea that me and my dad had called uh, The House for Wayward Hoes, where my dad would take wayward women that he- Hold on, hold on, define wayward in this situation. Well, there's a lot of women online who don't listen to men and kind of think they're like bad but they haven't had positive relationships with men in their life and they don't know a lot of wives too by the way most women generally in america i'm wayward myself but i'm trying to get better uh but yeah especially women online right so my dad had this idea for sort of show <laughs> it didn't work out so he had this idea that women would come over to our apartment and i would sort of he would sort of be like the pimp and i would be like his bottom bitch and he would uh help de-waywardize these women by teaching them, like, you know, reading to them from the Bible and teaching them how to make him a cup of coffee. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> yeah, it was a good idea. It was a good idea. I, I, break him, break him like a uh, wild horse. They were like breaking, breaking in women who have never listened to a man in their life. Anyways, um, this girl Ava decided to come over. She decided to, she was like, oh, I'll, I'll do that. You know, it'll be funny. He pulled her, he, he said, okay, we have to establish trust. So he pulled her hair to say, like, I'm going to, like, pull your hair, and then you hurt me in some way, and then we've, then we've bonded physically, and now you'll trust me as a man. She got a little freaked out. She called her parents. She was, like, 22, but anyways, she does meth. It's a whole thing. Anyways, yeah, so it, it was sort of, like, it was failed Riz on his part, I would say, the pulling of the hair, but... Yeah, it yeah, sounds like failed Riz. Show at the time. I, I think he failed when he got a meth head to try to break. <laughs> wow, well, she was a cute. She's like, she was good. She was gonna be How good. How cute for the could show. she She's be? Like she probably unhinged. had spots. Spots? Nah, what are you talking about? Like, like when when kid, chicks know. get meth, they like get their black teeth and they start getting like spots like a leopard when they're really deep into it. Mm, I don't know that. I don't know too many meth heads. Um, I did see like in this documentary thing that I was trying to watch that your dad sold a company for like 600 K or something. And then you've been trying to do, uh, this streaming career and he just recently ran out of money. Is that true? That's why I'm so grateful to you for inviting me on your show. Yes. Uh, my dad sold a bunch of real estate when the housing market skyrocketed. Mm -hmm. And um, then we had family issues that sucked away a lot of that money. And uh, we are now currently semi broke. So simps, please come to my channel. Grace Thorpe, AKA Joan. Donos are very much appreciated. What's the OnlyFans pop off? Actually, I have an OnlyFans. I'm planning to do um, a very, very niche thing on my OnlyFans. So I haven't posted <coughs> anything yet, but What's my OnlyFans What's a niche thing is, on your OnlyFans? I know this guy named Hormaxer, who Ooh, is a positive, uh, Jewish guy who streams, right? So what he's gonna do is we're gonna do exercise. So every time I do a push up, he's gonna coach me, and I have to say like, I'm a, I'm a, I'm fat. I am only worthy for my holes, and I'm gonna get fit, and he's gonna do the push ups with me. That's the idea. You know, BDSM you know people exercise. pay more for you sucking doing this, right? Uh, <laughs> it's kind of my thing because I have gained weight, and he is a good. Um, coach in that sense so what we'll is what is together. that's the what is up with this clip where somebody like slapped you and you're like yes daddy or some sh like slapped you slapped you oh darius yeah is that real <laughs> okay yeah he really did slap me and really my ears were ringing it was the best thing he probably ever did in his life but what happened was uh this guy darius who's like a twitch streamer in the destiny sphere um he came over to do IRL content at my house and he was kind of a jerk. So I burned the clothes that he, I ditched him at my mom's, po po at my mom's house. 
and he started crying on her porch and then I burned his clothes on live stream while he was over there um and then he was really mad about that so he kind of had this bit where he would like get back at me when I visited him in LA so he slapped me so mm. it was a real slap yeah but it was you know he asked me ahead of time if I was okay with it I said yeah well are, are you looking for love currently Grace why are you single? Uh, I'm just no, I'm not single, but only use me blade is. <laughs> well, I'm not that single. <laughs> You're a hot mess. So, <laughs> and I'm, I'm a, a internet degenerate. degenerate. I'm an internet degenerate. And could you I, could you imagine a grace and only use me blade drunk stream? <laughs> Well, that's that's different. That's that's that. It all, would probably look yeah. like the Beck and Blade drunk stream. No, no, no. I heard uh, Blade uses the N word. Yeah. For some for some reason, when I'm blacked out drunk, I I say the N word. I don't know why. So Actually, I had an entire wait. Can, can, are you guys okay with me saying it? Like, uh, no, uh, no, please, uh, please, yeah. please don't. But I did see a I'm clip. Cool with it. I, I seen a clip of you saying the N word just the other day when you were crying about um, you needed money. So what's up with that? You don't think it's racist? No, I, I just think it's hilarious. I, I've had black men pay me money to call them that. I don't really see like nobody's I call, I say, I call cap. I call not, cap on that one. I, I call oh, cap oh, on that one. You, you had I literally had pay a you money no, to say the to, word. Was this yeah, when you were like YouTube, booking or being an escort or something? Like what? what no, this no, it, it was on a stream. It's, it's on my YouTube channel, Grace Thorpe AK Jr. You go to the shorts, hot black guy begs me to call him the N word. He sent in a super chat, asked me to call him the N-word. Then he came on stream when I wouldn't, and he said, can you say it to my face? I literally, it's, it's up there. How, How do you know that's from talk? him, though? How do you know that's from him, though? That could, I be, also, easily, I wait, 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 could easily be some 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 dude no, sitting at home be like, I... He, he came on stream, like, with his <coughs> face. You could see mm. his face. He was cute. But uh, I actually also had a speed date where a black guy asked me if we could do race play and I could be like, you know, the mistress of the house and I could whip him. I don't know. I'm not particularly into it, but as far as the black community seems to like it, so. I don't really know um, where to go from here. <laughs> I'm just lost. Well, so the the chat wants wants you to ask her about the beer bottle incident. Yeah, what is the beer bottle incident? Oh, okay. Um, so my mother was making all of these assumptions about me and my father's relationship, right? And I'm a sort of I don't know a performative person. So at a certain point, maybe when I was 16 or 17, things kind of we were having this conversation. And um, there was a beer bottle at hand and I sucked it in my father's lap. And I looked at my mom and said like, is this what you think is going on? You know, and I did a good job. The beer bottle was pleasured su sufficiently, but uh, I did that, you know, and I looked at my mom and I said like, is this what you think is going on? And even if it was, is this such a big deal? Like, can we just, can we just break the horse? And can you admit like you're making all these assumptions, but you just won't say them like, okay, like, here you go. Like, ah, what do you think is going on here? And uh, was your she, mom was your mom super horny when she was like your age? She was. Yes, she once had sex with a man so that she could take a nap in his air conditioned apartment in New Orleans. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's called a homosexual. So, oh no, I. It's one of her more likable qualities is that she was a whore. What about the um, but, the time that you dragged her out by her hair and threw her out of your studio? Physically? Yeah, I was going to ask that next. <laughs> like, I seen this clip of you just Wait, grabbing you your mom. Me, you didn't let me finish the beer bottle oh, story. Oh, okay. I'm go sorry. Ahead, go ahead. It couldn't get better. Oh, yeah. Okay. We're so interested. <laughs> yeah, Keep yeah. us. I'm so, on the edge um, of my seat. I would be too picky, okay. Blade. <laughs> Dude, don't don't let... don't t Grace, don't take <laughs> from anyone. If someone starts Nobody. talking yeah. shit, hold back. Light them up. Are you not enjoying the stories, Blade? So you sucked off a beer bottle and go. Well, and then I, what was interesting is that my mother got very upset and she said, you stop that right now. Even though it was a beer bottle. Like it wasn't, there was nothing sexual going on. It was a beer bottle. She got very angry at me. So I threw my, my backpack at her cause I was very angry and I rushed out the house to one of my dad's apartments that was free, like in another neighborhood cause he had houses at the time. And uh, I never lived with her again, basically, after that. So that's the end of the story, Blade. You happy? I, I'm sorry. That just, that, so, what, was the, what was the point of that story? Like, what, 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 are, what is going on I with that? I was asked. Quick survey. I was quick asked. survey. Everyone is like wings, boogie. Not, but, but where's Boogie, by the way? He's, He's on, a, on his way to Grace's house. <laughs> oh, okay. No, but um, what happened with when you grabbed your mom and threw her on the ground? Um, it, it was, it was, you mean when I opened the back of the, 
when I opened the back of the studio and I pulled her by her hair. Yes, her yes. Out. It was kind of a bit. Afterwards, I told her, like, I was just kidding. And she was like, yeah, I get it. She was, she was doing this thing where she was, like, she was kind of spurging on the stream. And so I thought it would be funny if I kind of, like, kicked her out of the studio and just said, like, all right, that's enough of that. And so so a bunch of have a problem with that. A bunch of this stuff is bits, but... Aren't there real police reports in your family for assault with each other? Uh, well, there, there's no criminal record um, because all of the charges have been dismissed. The only current thing is a civil restraining order that my mother has against my father. And it's for her and my four minor siblings who semi live with her. I was just about to ask that. Um, I obviously just said it. You, so you have you have the brothers, sisters, mixture. What do you, what do you got? I'm the oldest. I have six. I uh, well, I'm sorry. I'm the oldest of six. I have five siblings. Uh, there's me. Then there's John, Charlie, Tommy, Maggie. Jack. I'm not gonna. Uh, okay, but is it all from the same mother, dad, or? Mm -hmm. Yep. Someone in the I'm chat. Is, someone in the chat is saying yeah. that you have some type of relationship with Ethan Ralph. Is that true? Mm. Yes. I uh, about I don't know five months ago. <laughs> I went on Ethan Ralph's stream. I, I did very well. I made him a lot of money. And I had to sort of debate with this guy, Beardson, Beardley. I don't know if you know who he is, but some no. kind of debate. He wouldn't, he would, he, he, he said I was degenerate. And I asked him to admit if he, I asked him to say that he liked women's breasts and he wouldn't. So I just called him gay. And that was essentially the entire debate. But we had a good relationship. And then I, I kind of um, dissed him by saying that he was too clingy as a creator <laughs> and then uh he started he that that spurred that spark that sparked a whole did you text word. ethan ralph uh yeah yes was it always professional yeah oh so he said, plan ethan ralph didn't try to make the move on you no, no. Oh, okay interesting he was very nice he did boost my career quite a bit so i do appreciate it we're we're, we're, we're good we're on good terms now um, I did say I was sorry. I, I can, I can get a little defensive and kind of burn bridges too quick sometimes. So, so the internet seems to think that your dad is like, you know, like a kind of like a cult leader or something. Um, you know, they, they, they call him, they, they, they say that he's like his children and all this stuff. And there's a lot of clips of him, like admitting, like what, explain your dad to the world. My dad is. <laughs> He is hilarious. He is a goofy, goofy guy. He had this crazy relationship with my mother. They're both out of their minds, basically. But he is adorable. He's like, he tries to be like a big shot. He's like, watch some red pill stuff. And he's like, I know how boys work. I know how women work. But he's mostly just like a, like a nerd, kind of. It's just that he's very bombastic sometimes, especially online. So people take that as like him being very aggressive, I guess, or like scary but he's a total simp i'm like totally spoiled by him so but he's very smart too he has a master's in theology like he's very educated i respect Can i give you an idea sense, but... with your dad like for content mm -hmm. yeah sure. you said your dad ain't got no in six years mm -hmm. why don't you film your dad getting an escort and then not so much the stuff but just the interactions with the escort itself yes can I, can i've, I, I've can tried I, to get him i tried to get I've tried to, he, I've, we have made content out of his Tinder dates before, but I've tried to get him to like do, uh, Tinder date streams before. Cause I think that would be hilarious, but he's a little scared of that. Most workers will not be on stream or on camera. So if you were to like try to you call an escort on this, yeah, of course you I'm, I'm just saying, dude, I've, I've been drunk as doing my streams and people are like, you know, I've had, I've had viewers order me escorts and they come, they're like, what the up with all these cameras? No escort is going to want to be on camera be filmed i would just i would disagree with this blade i think that's somebody you have because i've had escorts sent to my house too and most of them are like i will do anything you want me to do for money on camera on the internet most of them are addicts and like crackheads that's why that's why they're on <laughs> only fans or what it was the i mean i must be in the wrong the part of the country dude shit. i'm I must be in the wrong part of the country then, dude, because, like, I don't know, like, every every situation I've ever had, most escorts or workers don't want to be on camera. They're just, they're See, not. Seattle workers are f***ing prudes. It's not even that. I'm talking about more so when I was living in California and living in Vegas. Um, what went wrong with you and your father? What were we, I'm sorry, not you and your father, your father and your mother. How did that, how did that really kind of uh, dwindle? <laughs> they got married because my mother, like, got pregnant with me, obviously, by him. But she was, he was, uh, he had mommy issues. He'll admit this. He had, like, 
you know, sort of insecurity about women. And she was sort of a hostile person. So he wanted to kind of like work things out with her, but she was severe. So what were the other five reasons for your five siblings then? Like, it, <laughs> like well, she was whoops, a very. Whoops, 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 whoops. Like, what do you mean? Time to get well, married. He's already well, committed. They, Why not? They well, they 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 thought they were married. The, I don't believe they were ever married. Truly, I, I think that their the marriage should be annulled. But um, they thought they were married, and so they of course wanted. You know, we're Catholic, so like, if you're married, you should have. You know, she should be open to procreation. Stop! 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 You don't what? get to claim any religion sh after all this you said you've done or, or do or whatever and then go we're right. Catholic. They, they have been following that no hey, wait a second wait, wait, wait a second this is this is some good idea you have that christians have to be some kind of like perfect people no 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 christians can be as it, it has nothing to do it has, it has nothing to do if you're christian muslim whatever it doesn't matter you can't you can't be degenerate and then claim that you follow some sort of guideline that's all. Of course you can. That's the whole reason for Jesus Christ. Have you ever heard of it? I mean, let's be real. There is incest in the Bible. Don't, don't, don't be smart. Don't be smart. <laughs> yeah, you boy lot. Throwing well, it down. Well, it is. It's, it's stupid to say that you have to, to be a broken person means you can't be a Christian. Yeah, bro religion's for broken people. <laughs> yeah. Well, we're all broken, so. I'm not. Uh, do you do you still go to church on this RV trip? Are you still finding time to go to church? No, we don't really currently go to mass because mass, like most churches, have a service that's very emasculating and it's not like very. It, it's kind of awful. To you put guys would be afraid to so. catch fire in the church. Jesus Christ, Tommy! You know, you know, no. Tommy! You probably are the expert on her and her father, right? You know more about them than anyone here. I barely know. Well, I, uh, I don't know. I. I I wouldn't say that, but I've seen uh, clips over the uh, last two years. Yeah, um, <laughs> I've never seen any <laughs> clips until yesterday. I was like, "What the?" Oh fuck? no, I, I, we, we've covered them before a few times. Yeah. Do you have um, questions for the dad? Oh, I'd love, we'd love to talk to him. Um, uh, I like to see how funny he is in a live situation with us. Hey, can we during your in, during your over. interactions yeah, with yeah. like? I don't have a oh, you want to talk to him? Yeah, Both of you, possibly. I want to talk I mean, to this guy, De Mr. Degenerate. Let's let's go, man <laughs> okay. to man. Let's go. <laughs> I think he's talking about you, Blade. <laughs> Big boy pants on. <laughs> I think, yeah, Blade, you're in. Yeah. Okay. Excuse me. What what How is degenerate? Doing? I want to know. I know. Hey. <laughs> What's degenerate? Uh, what is what is degenerate? Yeah. What is degenerate? What? Uh, Name one I thing. Don't, I don't know how. What to kind of a man it, are you? Sit up gonna... straight and tell me what's degenerate. What? All right, you need to calm the f down, dude. Like, no, I this don't. This is the first no, interaction you've had with me, and you, you're coming at me real hot. You sit up straight. So, no, <laughs> let's talk like men. Let's How go. About that? Let's go. I'm lean forward. I'm ready to go. You call me degenerate. You call my daughter degenerate. I'm coming at you hard. Let's go. Yeah, because she's a degenerate. Yeah, sit That's back fine. like the bitch. Are. Okay. Now tell me what's degenerate. You, dude. I'm not yeah, lean back you further. Go lie down in that. Go lie down in your couch too. While while you're at it, be the full. You are. What? Right? Come on. Why? Well, I don't know why you call what's me a degenerate. Dude? Why are you coming in all hot, dude? What the what the f problem? I want to know the first interaction the that question. I've had with you. In the first interaction I've had with you, you're coming at me f talking crazy. You call my daughter degenerate. I'm asking you to give me she's, one she's example talking about, of she's talking that. About flirting with you, dude. You're talking about that you and okay. you have all right, all right, that's an example. And then you, and that's then, an, and okay. Then you, all right, you gave me an example. My daughter. Can you can you calm down a little bit? Can you can you chill? I didn't come at you with that energy, so can you just chill a little bit? Okay. Yeah, Let's I'll start. Be. Hi, my name is Brian. What's your name, dude? <laughs> <laughs> my name isn't dude, dude. I'm an my older name's man. Brian. What's you your name? Should, I'm an older man that you should treat me with respect. You can call me Mister Thorpe. I'm, I'm I'm asking you, what's your name, sir? Ben Thorpe. Ben Thorpe. Is that how you want me to address you, sir? Sir is good. Mister Thorpe is good. You <laughs> Here can call you me go. Ben. See, we're we're ben. Let's get ben. Nice, okay. nice to meet you, Ben. All right. Let's start over. I think do I flirt with my daughter. I, I think yes. Ben is Ben is trying to understand what exactly is uh, degenerate. He, no, he wants he a gave me an example. Of he gave me an example. Yeah. Okay. So he go. said that me at age fifty-two, using flirtatious language with my daughter, who's twenty-one. Okay. Do you know what the word flirt means? Yes. What does it mean? To what do you mean to flirt? To riz up? To to talk to talk to someone in a flirtatious way? Yeah. Okay, well, that, that's using the definition. I understand that sounded really stupid for my, for, for my end. That sounded really stupid. So yeah, I'll give it. I'll give that to you. Okay, well, I mean, we know it, it stands for amusement rather than serious intentions. I'm, well, there, that. There, that was there are two contexts. There's two contexts in which you could flirt. One in which you're trying to like flirt with someone to get a date or to you know for 
sexual activity. Are there other contexts in which two people can flirt? I'm not familiar with it, but I'm, I'm, I'm all ears, though. Let's say, let's say a nurse is working in a nursing home, and there's an old guy there, and mm-hmm. she flirts with him a little bit. He's, you know, he's got cancer. Okay. Is, do you understand that context? Yeah. Do you understand the context? Let's say I have a niece, and uh, I'm at a wedding. She's seven or eight years old. She's wearing a dress, and I go, what a pretty girl you are. Am I flirting oh, with her? God. No. No, that's yes, not I flirting. Am. Yes, I am flirting with her. Yes, I am. <laughs> And a woman will flirt with an eight-year-old boy. And also in the same way, what a handsome young boy you are. Let me pinch your cheeks. Absolutely. That's flirting. Now, I've already had this conversation with many people on the internet. You might say that I think that all flirting has the desire for genital activity at the end of it. But you would be wrong. That's not how it's defined. It has two different meanings. Okay. So ta- ta- so okay. I, I do not uh, flirt uh, with uh, my uh, daughter uh, in the uh, sense uh, of... Why, okay. why, Ben, can I, I just... Can I, can I just... Ahead, let's here. cut the so ice How is here. that degenerate? How's but, that, DJ? But Ben, let me cut the ice here. The, why does the whole internet keep saying that you and your daughter have some type of sexual relationship? That's, gr- that's a great question. The <laughs> internet is filled with people who are sons and daughters of the devil who have inverted normalcy completely and hate goodness, truth, and love. And I'm here to take those people off the f-ing internet and clear it. For normal people to come in who actually believe that truth, goodness, and beauty are what we should do and not the opposite of it. So they saw, you know where this started? They saw that me and my daughter, who are both attractive and a lot of people on the internet aren't attractive, and they saw that we had a good relationship and a lot of people on the internet don't have a good relationship with their daddy, and if they're a man, don't have a good relationship with women, and they are envious. Envious. So, envy. so do you and Grace cuddle? I have fondled and caressed my daughter when she was a young child. Is that scandalous to you guys? I, what about currently? Right, he's I'm 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 of course I do. <laughs> what about currently? Right, yeah, go away. Go away forever. <laughs> what about currently? Do you do you cur- think that's a controversial? Do you think? Wait, wait. Do you think that's a controversial, controversial sentence? I have fondled and caressed. My daughter, as well as my sons, as, as children. That's fondle, totally fa- fondle's a weird word to use, though. Fondle, yeah, I think, well, it, I think it's fondle. I think absolutely. it's kind of degenerate. Fondle. You're sleeping in the same bed. Okay, but wait a second. Is it is it degenerate to fondle and caress your children when they're young yes. children? Okay, so, so you're out of your mind. I hope you don't have any children and never do have any children because if you don't fondle and caress little children, they grow up to be very, very unhealthy. In fact, if you don't fondle and caress a baby, do you know what happens to that baby? If it is you not fondled that and most caressed. people in this world. Do you know? I'm daughter. asking you a question. Then you can talk. Do you know what happens to a baby who is not touched, who is not fondled? But Mr. And Thorpe, Literally. fondle you suggests that. Do you know what happens? Do you fa- know what fa- that happens? Fondle suggests that something erotic is happening. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's no, it a, it's a, it's a, it's term. a word which has. Why don't you say caress is the same? Caress fondle. would be you caress your children. Yeah, I, I, I think that would be acceptable. It sounds a little okay, weird. But you but can I, also caress fondle, your baby. Fondling has a uh, it, uh, inclination to it. And I'm looking it up right now, and it's lovingly and erotic. Lovingly, uh, okay. Yeah. Lovingly or ever- okay, you don't touch uh, your children lovingly. Okay, I don't know what's wrong. Uh, this is the problem. Uh, okay. if that's a problem. For okay, you, Ben, you, have, you ben, have a problem. Okay, Ben, but mm. it wasn't just the internet that thought you had some type of sexual relationship with your daughter. Your own wife thought that's that, true. right? Why, why did well, your wife think this? I would say this? putative wife. Well, do you know the story of I think it's Snow White, right? It's just about, do you not think that a lot of older women become envious of younger women they're, when they flower into womanhood? I mean, that's a, the story as old I mean, as time. I don't oh, see God. people being envious nope. of their daughters against their husbands. <laughs> oh my God! Have you guys ever been in any relationships with women? I'm, Never. I'm currently I'm on the internet. <laughs> you don't think? You don't think? Older women often get into like a situation where they envy the beauty of younger no, I, women. A hundred percent, that's true, Ben. But we're talking about mother daughter. That's like that's abnormal. Happens all the time. It happens all the time. That abnorm- mothers think that their daughters that begin- are are f- the father. Uh, yeah, it I don't happens think all the she time. Ever really thought that, but like that tension between a, 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 a daughter who becomes close to her father and sort of threatens the mother's position, that happens all the time. I, I understand that most people, it doesn't like, you know, it doesn't turn into anything, but absolutely that's attention. It's now, attention. Didn't, didn't the other siblings, uh, your, your other sons also bring this claim forward that you and Grace had some type of sexual relationship? No, only my, my eldest son who has, a close, has had a close relationship with his mother. So he thought he was defending her. It's very normal that that happens. 
There's yeah. a natural way in which boys defend their mother. I asked, you know, he, you know, there was a lot of lying and stuff like that. And, you know, I understand. I feel bad for the kids because they get confused because you trust mom and dad. And it becomes difficult when one of those people just goes off the rails um, who you trusted and, you know, starts saying like, you know, she's a victim when it's not true. But I mean, you're welcome to look at people are welcome to look. There's like hundreds of hours of documentation. It's super clear. Didn't your son happened. make a claim that you and Grace were sending each other? Yeah, I, I mean, again, sending, which means se sending provocative statements. I don't know if you've ever, in, uh, if you guys interact with Zoomer kids, they use terms, like girls will call other girls. The N word is normal among, have you ever seen like teenage boys um, playing video games? They call each other N word, use swears all the time. I mean, some of that language, like I adopt with my I kids. I can get behind that, yep. And like to say like, okay, we're racist. And also like I have, I'll call, I'll call my sons the F slur all the time like don't be such a little you know what i mean that's what i grew up with it's really a way of saying be a man you phobic or even that that's cool. like, <clears throat> so there's this ongoing thing that just happened recently and that's how i discovered who grace was and who you were mm. um yep. I, I came across a, a video clip of grace crying uh saying the n-word and saying that you know you guys only have a thousand dollars left in your bank account uh, mm -hmm. What happened? Because as I was watching a documentary, they were explaining that you were actually quite wealthy. You had a, yeah. a ton of money and it's all gone now. Can you can you explain yeah. your finances? Can I explain my finances? Uh, yeah. I mean, when you have six kids and you go through like this family situation, a lot of money gets wasted being spent in conflicts. And, you know, I don't I think probably a lot of men who that will acknowledge that then, then uh, why pursue a lot of this, money ends up getting why do you pursue this you know, online career if you're just losing money and not making it well you don't know, understand like you could say you could have said that to jeff bezos in the first years of his amazon he, <laughs> on you paper go, lost money right hey right? hey fair am I right yeah, yeah, yeah you're right. right when you're right you're right but but ben did but am you... i technically right am i technically right yeah but you ben, got a few here's i'm not what... a fan of, i'm not a fan of that defense because it's kind of like you know someone didn't jeff bezos not graduate high school or something right so Maybe. if you talk to a kid and he says, "Oh, I, I want to drop out of school," Jeff Bezos didn't go to didn't graduate high school. Yes, that is an instance that did happen. But in general, it's better to get education. It's better to not be poor. Like I don't. It was better so to have. If you have a lot of money, you, you can't choices. gamble it. On, you can't sort of risk it on investing in yourself uh, because you believe that you have what it takes to sort of make it in a different field. You can. It's risky. I, I got. A, I got a completely other off-topic thing, and I've just seen this from large families. Mm -hmm. Um, was there ever a point like, um, what are the age, like, what are, what is the age gap of your children? You don't need to get specific on this person. They're pretty age, tight, but, like, but it goes from Grace is 21. Uh, the youngest is now 12. So two okay. years about between each one. Was there ever a time when you guys like all went to Disneyland or something? Uh, or amusement maybe, parks, sure. Or like maybe uh, something as simple as like going to a restaurant, like all, like the whole, the whole, the whole fam. Yeah, I mean, I've, amusement parks. Yes, we've gotten to this. Yeah. Okay, uh, I'm really interested in stuff like that because one time I saw this guy and he had seven kids at a subway and he spent over a hundred dollars on food and he was filling up the drinks. He just looked super depressed. Yeah. Obviously, the kids the kids are obviously the most important thing in the world, and you would do anything for your children. But did it ever did raising six kids ever become like a burden that you're like, man, I can't really handle this right now, or is it always, you know what I mean? Because that, that's a lot to take uh, for so, it, 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 Different people. I, I actually try to advocate for large families because uh, in many ways, and I grew up in a large family, which are also very dysfunctional. In many ways, having more kids, if there are problems, it gets sort of, it doesn't get foistered on one or two kids. I think having one kid is almost child abuse. But, you know, having a large family, they have a certain solidarity why, with each other. Why is, why, I have a quick question. Why is having one kid child abuse? I think it, I'm, sorry, I'm not saying it's technically, but I think if you choose to have one kid when you can have more, I don't understand that because, you know, we have a lot. I, I interact with a lot of young. So people if there, if there was, if there was, if there was someone who had, if there was someone who had one daughter and said, that's it, no more, you think less of that person. But can, can I, you asked me a question, then I started answering it. Then you asked me another question <clears throat> before I, I got a chance to answer the first question. So I'm My saying, bad. I think when you have, I do think, generally speaking, it's going to be hard to end up in this kind of isolated, frightened place that a lot of young people are in. If you have, a, if you're from a large family, not impossible, but what, large what is family. the and life that, that what is the life that you want for your daughter? 
Oh, I want her to be rich and famous. And I, and I know that she will be, you know. Rich and famous. You don't care about she... any of the behavior, like the crazy behavior. Well, can you name what's crazy, please? Um, crazy. It's hard to give an example because I barely know this situation. She's just known as like a wild yeah. girl. There's clips of her yeah. grabbing her mother, like throwing her out the door, um, physical mm -hmm. abuse, crying, screaming, saying the N-word. Um, I don't know. Yeah. There's a bunch of stuff. I, I, I'm, I'm not the expert on this. Captain Mac <clears throat> I think, I think for a young person <clears throat> in 2024, we were just, we're here at, uh, in San Marcos, Texas. We were just on a bus, uh, a shuttle bus for, uh, we Texas State, which is right here. All the kids who came on were on their phones and they looked petrified of everyone else. So I really think that's the problem with, you know, the Zoomer generation, not that they talk too much and they're too wild and they, you know, I think they need to like, kind of like get, Take a take a bite out of life. Take some risk. I'm glad. I think Grace is like a Alex Young uh, became a member. Someone that they could admire. Because she knows her limits. Anything you're gonna tell me, like, tell me about the gun, tell me about the pregnancy. There is none of that stuff. So it's mostly playful. Rosie Poo Even the stuff with her mother is her mother was in on, you know, most of it. And she was behaving in a way which was, you know, calling for that. But um I do think the problem Hamza in our Apollo society is everyone's afraid of everything. To think that grown men cover their ears when a man talks about flirting with a seven-year-old niece of his. It's unbelievable, guys. What the f happened to you? Did your testicles come back up into your abdomen? That is totally normal. The idea that you're scared of the of a seven-year-old uh, is just beyond belief. I don't know what happened. It feels maybe like it happened on the internet. It feels I don't like think you're afraid of a seven-year-old. It's crazy. <laughs> It just, I don't think the term I don't think the term flirting uh, applies in this situation. And most does. people, if they were to if they were to hear if, if you were to hear the headline, flirting with a seven year old, that sounds horrible. And a lot of people Only are going to. I'm, 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 I'm letting crazy. you know. I'm letting you know. Most people, if I were to go take a survey on the street right now and say, "Here's the headline: flirt with a seven year old," no one's going to like true. be so so progressive and and thought and uh, gone through some weird thought process, or whatever, on the surface. No. That statement no. No, is no. crazy sounding. You just think you're flirting. normal. You you think you're normal. You're I'm not, not normal. normal. I'm no no I'm, no. But I'm, you you guys just did this debate. Ain't nobody like here normal. Apparently did this debate about p hunters and p and all that stuff. None of that stuff makes any sense. No one is possible. Has it ever occurred to any of you that it's not really possible to to uh, abuse children on the internet? They're protected by the screen. There is no really possible way that happens in real life. And people who are really doing that don't do it on the internet because they're going to leave a trail of proof. I worked in a Catholic high school with. Okay, I just removed yeah, him. Yeah, thank I you. I removed dude. him. I almost. <laughs> <laughs> I removed him. I didn't Bro, get to use my act. Uh, it's an I was act. I'm waiting for my it's turn to act. call him Vince Russo. Jesus Christ. It's an act because he was, at one point, he was just sitting there. That's why I couldn't really get into when, him because, like, I, at one point. Am I crazy? The is, is flirting with a seven year old not an okay thing to say? It's an act. Ever? You got played, Blade. It's a f Dude, I'm, I'm talking about what you talking about. about I, would say, I never thought I would say this, but like, I really wish that Boogie was here. <laughs> he fondled Grace so often. Look how she turned out. He, he thought he was getting boring, and then all of a sudden he starts talking about flirting with a seven year old. Bro, all right, now I get it. Bro hit me with a combo. He goes, flirting with a seven year old. Uh, I forgot the last thing. And then he said he worked at a Catholic school. I'm like, okay, he's out. He's Jeez. Oh, by the way, I was softball serving Keem so hard right there because he went for a sig, and then he he said something when Keem was gone. He says that having one child is child abuse, and so I was like, and I know, I know. And first off, I know Keem, and Keem's thing back in the day. I even asked him this. He said, "I'm like, why do you have the, the one child?" He's like, I, "I'm doing the one, and that's it, cutting it off. Like, that's all yep. I'm doing." And so I was trying to softball serve that up to Keem, but he wasn't catching it. I was like. No, I would I just. Why he has got late in six years. I felt he's like the type of dude that would take a picture of his zipper and say, "You come into daddy" or some shit like that. They get, the man yeah. has no game. Yeah, I feel. I, think, I, I feel like that guy. Sorry. That guy's been hit with so many allegations of being a creep. You know, uh, incest of being a or whatever. That I feel like he just came here to defend all this weird. Shit and stuff that we weren't even asking him, right? Like, yeah. who's bringing yeah. up flirting? No a one brought that up. Nobody brought no up flirting with up. a seven-year-old. I, seven -year -old. I had that? who's trying to fondle a baby. The yeah. cops. Have I, don't been there. I don't think it's a troll job. I think he's really. I think he's <laughs> I really. See that. That. I think we're giving him the. I think you're giving him the benefit of the doubt because you don't want to accept the fact that they do something. No, 
Pluto. Oh, no, no, I, I, I know I'm not giving the benefit of the doubt. Because put him in the, it, put no him on thing of degenerate. Oh Divine well, degenerate. It's, look, look. If your uh, daughter, you. if your daughter, you, if dude. your daughter simulates fellatio with a coke bottle between, it's degenerate. That's not the argument. The fact is, they're saying this shit to get a rise out of everybody else. That's what's going on. So I don't want to be oh. arguing with a guy that's. Uh, yeah, but a, a, it's a one trick pony. To get a rise. It's so a, do you think he gets the, you think he gets a hard on way sleeping in bed with her every? I night? don't know. I don't think about that way. He's crazy uh, enough. The whole thing about like them like trying to do YouTube for a living and have like careers or whatever. It's not gonna, if it's not working out. It's not going to work because they were on Ethan Ralph. They were on Destiny. They were all on all these big shows. There's documentaries on them. And if they're not popping off now, I what are you going right. to do? You know, obviously. Like, if you have all that exposure and you're still not doing anything with it, then I, yeah. Yeah, I, I can't see that, like, really being a thing. I'm <laughs> surprised. I'm. Why did you talk him off a ledge, right, when he came in hot? Like, I wanted to see you go out at Blake. Yeah, I know. I wanted to keep you fighting. That was funny. Uh, and you're like, hey, man, don't talk to me like that. <laughs> Dude, they can't really, they can't, not, okay, first off, when people want to argue, there, there's there's arguing and then there's just yelling over each other. And I'm there's entertainment. Yell, you know <laughs> I mean? All right, next time I'll just go in. Tell them. Yeah. Next time, get a drink. Jesus, calm down. No so imagine if you would imagine if you would have came at me like that and I was drunk. The kind of he's six foot said. eight. He's six foot eight. Is he really? The guy is. Yes. That's he's weird. also wearing khaki pants and likes his daughter. So. <laughs> Fair enough. Yeah. <laughs> that tear powder went that way. I don't care how tall this guy is. So Grace <laughs> sent me a DM saying that she locked her dad out of the room and wants to. I did. What's I did. up? What happened? Um, I understand that you guys are all frail old ladies who can't <laughs> a man being in your midst. So I'm here to calm you down. Okay, ladies, it's going to be okay. It's going to be don't okay. Don't talk about touching kids, please. I, You'll be I know. great. Oh. I know, I know, I know, I know. You're very scared of children. You're a real man, right? Um, yeah, yeah, I have two. So I have two, and I don't fondle them. <laughs> yes, terrified of touching children. That's what makes I don't fondle them. I don't fondle them. I get. I, I took my kid to soccer practice game and I had a boy, and I didn't touch it. It's amazing. <laughs> I feel bad for your kid. Really a paradigm. <laughs> <laughs> you want to come over here? Then? <laughs> if, if you were my father, I would. I would be ashamed. Yes. So, anyways, <laughs> why are you guys such? A, why are you guys all old ladies? Like, why? What's what's with the gossip? What's with like the clutching pearls? Like, are you guys dudes? Like, come on. I don't think I'm better than you. <laughs> it makes you feel better. <laughs> Nobody's pearl clutching or virtuous. Kelly, I got a question for you. Yes, you were all pearl clutching and virtue signal. You guys. We just were hung all up on him. We just like hung up on him. That's that all. A, we just that hung that up on him. That is such a. That's Daddy! That's, that's your daddy! daddy. To kick somebody. That's a move to kick somebody like that. Come on. <laughs> oh, he's boring. Come on. Your act is exposed. It's Come not on. an act. Yes, it is. No, All right. no part of it. No, no word of No, lie. absolutely. I said that You're Andy lie. Kaufman. <laughs> no, I'm literally not. I'm literally not. No word yeah. of it was a lie. I didn't lie at all. You just can't I handle it because you're a bunch of old gossipy drama. women. I don't know what's going on. Why did you lock your dad out, though? What, what was the reason to lock him out of the room? Because you guys couldn't handle him, and I want the clout. So I'm here to share my story. If you guys can't handle my dad, then that's fine. I locked him out. I get it. All right, you're on center stage, all right? You have an audience of 3,700 viewers right now. We're going to sit here. We're going to be quiet. And this is your opportunity to shine, to entertain. We're not even going to interact with you. The stage, I'm going to leave. The stage is yours. Just do and say whatever the f*** you want. Ladies and gentlemen, it's grace time. Is this what you call content? <laughs> you have somebody on and you, you can't even talk to them? You're too scared to talk to me now? I thought this was an interview. I didn't know I was just performing. Yeah, dance monkey. All right, do you, you want to hear my? All right, yeah, thirty-six hundred people. Impre... You're interrupting. I'm getting into the mood. Would you like to hear my RFK Jr. impression? I have learned a lot about vaccines in the past three years. Is this of how my you get life. rich and famous? Yes. I. I am a. I. <laughs> This is so embarrassing. I'm not here to do stand-up. I was here to talk to people. Stop putting me in a spot like that. 
Why do you girl. not look like anyone in your family? You, you, you should be looking for old men that clutch pearls because, like, that's the way you're going to get rich and famous by marrying an old dude that's on his way out. Grace, I'm. Are you sure that your dad is your biological father? Yes. I, you look nothing like him. Would you f your dad if he wasn't your biological father? That's an impossible question to answer. You're stupid. You're retarded. That, that's yeah, an impossible that question to answer. <laughs> yeah, hypothetical. Wrong. How is that stupid? How would I, 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 my whole life I've known him as my father. How is it? I think he's a good looking guy. W would I have sex with him? I don't know. Does anybody ever have sex with you? you Does anybody know. ever have sex with you? you? You don't pay to do it? I don't think so. Yes. So buddy, maybe he's move married. on to the same questions. Something he's more married. in your wheelhouse. Something more in your wheelhouse, like World of Warcraft maybe? Or just You're not talking Lottery. to us yet. We're all in our forties. <laughs> You know, I'm, I have kids. Who are you talking about? You can't pull the insult card here. Everybody's married with children. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know anything about you guys. You might never <laughs> see this is a wedding ring. You know. <laughs> I feel I feel bad for your wife. Your wife is married to you, and you look like that. Do you not like care about her at all? You're killing you just yourself. Say I was with food? better looking than your daddy just the beginning of the show. No, ah. <laughs> I would never. I would not say that. Oh, so you do find your father more attractive than me? I feel you. Anybody would. I would say he's like an eight. You're like a two. That's being generous. You don't care about yourself. I mean, am I supposed to give you like a, a high ranking? I apologize, Grace. Uh, the chat is throwing tomatoes. The chat is throwing tomatoes. <laughs> I give Grace six months before she's pregnant. Only fans mix, mix up. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, thank you. Thank you, gentlemen. Thank you, gentlemen. Thank you, gentlemen. Thank you, gentlemen. Good Lord. Good Lord. You know, last week I was ill prepared for the show, right? Did it last minute, had a hit show with that 007 versus wings, right? This week I'm like prepared. I got this Grace character. I got Blade. And it just, for me, it just wasn't it. But I hope you guys had an all right time. You know, we tried.